हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज द थर्ड टाइम वी आर गोइंग लाइफ फॉर द सेम सेशन देर सीम्स टू बी सम इशू विथ इंस्टाग्राम एंड वी व नॉट एबल टू हियर ईच अदर प्रॉपरली सो आई जस्ट होप दैट दिस टाइम अराउंड वी विल बी एबल टू हियर ईच अदर एज आई मैंशन दिस इज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मदरहुड एंड करियर टूडे एज पार्ट ऑफ द वुमेन्स डे एंड वी हैव she also happens to be our school friend uh she is an architect by profession uh and hey hi ambika i hope this time around hi. i'm clear yeah yeah this is fine ma'am okay perfect lovely yeah let's just wait for vidya to join yes looks like even i am yeah. clear now yeah yeah this Not we had the same issue just in the previous session that we were having right we dropped off one and then it got to be fine but in this session we had to drop off twice so i think the frequency keeps on increasing maybe too many yeah. people fine yeah doing their lives i'm just Not trying enough. to get it with you okay yeah. just trying to get her okay in the meanwhile uh, till vidya join um, although we had introduced ambika in our previous session but since this is a completely new one i would try to take the opportunity of welcoming you to our session ambika thank you so much for joining thank us for it's a privilege it's a privilege to us to have you here with us and uh, a little bit introduction i would like to give about ambika is that um, she is an architect by profession and uh, she chose photography uh she is the premium photographer in bangalore so if you really want to uh, like you know have a look at her work just hop on to her instagram page and you will have loads and loads of videos and photos uh, which are screaming out loud what kind of artistic work she does so it's really 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 beautiful work lovely images and lovely videos of mika always uh, all the all the plays in your instagram account and yeah um another thing to add about ambika vidya already mentioned she is a fabulous dancer i've seen her dancing um in school and she does uh, she does it so gracefully and beautifully so rather than calling her a photographer i would love to call her an artist okay she has that intrinsic artistic capabilities embedded in her so yeah it's just lovely and amazing uh, like you know to uh, watch your photographs watch your videos watch you dance so it's everything is just amazing ambika welcome again welcome to the session introduction <laughs> yeah thank you so much both of you okay thank you for connecting with me for so long i have taken so long to do this <laughs> thank wow. you so much yeah i mean it is a good session. day Yeah, yeah, I'll start yeah. with the first question because we've already been a lot more uh, a lot delayed. Okay, yeah. So the first question I have to you is, uh, if you would love to share your professional journey with us, Ambika, we would love to hear about it. I'm sure it would be inspiring to many other uh, mothers over there. Yeah. So Nilofa, as you know, um, all uh, school life I've been like in that artistic and creative zone. Yeah. and uh, i always wanted to be an architect i don't know why since school days uh, i think we were five friends and we had all decided what we wanted to be i was so okay. sure i wanted to be an architect from standard 9 wow. i guess class 9 oh, i okay. was into it and it was not easy you know even just architecture was not easy for me i had a lot of health issues but i managed to get in and i was all fine after that so i practiced architecture for 10 years and wow. is hanging around with the camera it was always there with me my dad has my dad used to take real beautiful pictures of uh, me with him and uh, all that you see now uh, it's actually uh, when we open our own pictures and see uh, i can see that how he used to stage the pictures like now we are doing it professionally but i have pictures of myself my brother my dad and me you can call them daddy and me pictures like now i do mommy and me pictures i have daddy and me pictures their own pictures wow. are so good my parents pictures so that's been an inspiration and uh, after wedding my husband also like the camera since i picked the camera he has taught and yes my daughter was the biggest inspiration to this Okay. so she uh, because of her i started taking lot of pictures i had a dslr nice. 
I have made mm-hmm. unending pictures of her. Slowly got into it because of traveling. I could not keep on going with the architecture for too long. So mm-hmm. then, it's just switched to photography. I was so immersed in it, especially maternity photography. I used to like look at Instagram every morning, and it was like therapy for me. Just look at the pictures. <laughs> Today I'm doing. Uh, like looking at your pictures is actually a therapy for me. You know, I like literally. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> yeah, it it is actually like a therapy. They are just beautiful. So Ambika, like you know, as you mentioned that you started off, you always wanted to be an architect, okay? And uh, you worked as an architect for ten long years, and then you had you decided to make the switch to uh, photography. so yeah as i understand uh, there were a lot of factors uh, which actually led to this um, choice of yours from an architect to a photographer but then how was this switch was it easy um uh, was it was it something that you were looking forward to do you miss after being an architect how is it yes i miss being an architect because of okay. my traveling uh, i could not keep up with it i had like this constant uh, you know i used to nag to my husband i'm not able to practice i i'm not able to stay here because i used to travel a little i started traveling with my okay. daughter for her tennis and uh, okay. i started but i wanted to do something i knew i wanted to do something i could not sit quiet i think since a kid i could never sit quiet my mom is like that she's very mm-hmm. artistic again so i could not mm-hmm. sit quiet so i was everywhere with the dslr i when i was traveling in fact the previous year of lockdown i have done a few shoots uh, in europe also uh, very wow. few, yeah very few, I, but i have done i was doing like still life i used to do anything i remember the sari picture of yours in europe yeah, i, I used to do, was... i used to do pictures of myself <laughs> i have done a few maternity shoots that time uh, again Uh, somebody looked at my pictures and they asked me to do the shoots only one i think i did a free shoot for, i mean i mean not free shoot really like it was for my cousin and then mm-hmm. looking at her pictures you know then i started getting a lot of uh, calls from clients maybe but i could take up around five shoots before lockdown and it mm-hmm. really started in 2020 2020 oh, okay. i did start off with shooting and then okay. it was never looking back for the last two years i have been so busy with the shoots i have always been called it, it is really nice uh, to keep doing yeah. so much uh, creativity is there and i love to do everything myself like i like to keep uh, everything unique the outfits makeup i do it myself because i oh. have learned uh, when i was abroad i actually got to do Yes, so I love wow. to keep it. Um, my uh, everything. Uh, I I like. I feel it comfortable that way. It's not yeah. because I want to do everything. I love doing it first of all, and I like the comfort. You know, I don't have to run behind people for doing anything. So it's nice. Yes. Lovely, yeah, lovely. Yeah. You know, we proceed to the next question, Vidya. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. There was a question from one of um uh, one of a lady over there, yeah. and um, she is kind of like inspired by you, Ambika, already, and she also wants to take up uh photography. So she is having this question to you as a beginner. Mm-hmm. Which DSLR uh, would you suggest uh for her? DSLR yeah i am right now there are like mirrorless cameras now i have not switched to one yet i'm thinking of the switch i really started with a very basic dslr initially i then moved on to mark d okay, okay. canon i am a canon uh, user 5d mark 4 okay. i use I want to make my switch to mirrorless. It's the most uh, happening thing now. I have tried to use it. It's amazing. I will do the switch okay. soon. I'm comfortable okay. with whatever I'm doing right now. So yes, I think it's what you're going to shoot, how you're going to shoot. I had a very basic lens when I started. So I what would you suggest her, uh, Ambika? Which one? Which model would you suggest her to start with? Mirrorless. You can go for a mirrorless. You can check out your budget, and you, know, you can do this. You can. It's all about depends on your budget. What you want to spend. But really okay. speaking, I would say like it's not the camera again. That's what I'm trying to tell you. 
Okay, um, and practice if you have started. But now the most in thing is mirrorless cameras. They are really good. They are really fast. They are sharp. Okay. 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 I'm completely blank in this area. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I I'm also not technically too much into all this. I go the artistic way. Right. That's Love why I'm not a swimmer of full. So I was rightly calling you artistic rather than uh, yes, like you I, know I, an I, artist rather than a photographer. Me, I I am not such a technical person. I could even forget the camera name. Like I just did the, the camera I'm using. I could just forget. It's a, I could just forget. Yeah. But I I see things more artistically. Everything for me. Yeah, that can be seen in all your images. Definitely. For me, it's yeah, all yeah. about creativity and. Yes. I I have been uh, following your page since long time uh, and I can see even the coffee mug is placed very precisely Ambika and where the flowers should be there where the you know how the light has to be focused so we I I completely understand when you say artistic and you know you want it uh, So the yeah, coffee was the first yeah. thing I think after my daughter the coffee yeah. was the most photographed thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I love my coffee okay. and I love to photograph my coffee. <laughs> yeah, I even have now seen it. my my brother tells me it is going cold. Just drink it. I say it's yeah. not, it's not going cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving on to our next question, uh, Ambika. So uh, a little bit about your motherhood journey. So, how has motherhood treated you so far, and how were you able to, like, you know, handle your postpartum period? Okay, so I'm like kind of like mixing up your current and your postpartum period together. You would choose to answer. You can choose to answer the way you want to answer it. Motherhood is beautiful for everybody. There are, um, you know, some some don't get so lucky like me. touch wood i was lucky to have everybody around and my mom my mom was always there my husband was always there so my parents were around my family my first family was all around so it was uh, not so difficult for me uh, okay couldn't be the same for all and yeah. uh, my daughter was amazing after birth She was like an early sleeper and a late riser, no fuss. Wow! So I have been very lucky. I don't know if I want to go for another baby. I'm going to be so lucky again. But she is such a a very good baby. Uh, wow! Nice. And uh, after that, you know, if you're career oriented, postpartum blues are always there for everybody. No matter what kind of support you have, it's going to be there. Yes, I've yeah. gone through all of that, and it's okay to go through it. Some people have the support of family, and they get jump back to life easily, quickly. Some don't have it, so you'll have to find the courage yourself to dive back to life. Don't be very surprised. well said, Ambika. Very well yeah. said. Yeah. What was your learning, Ambika, through this journey? my learning is you can't stop at any point just because you have a baby you can't give up your career if you are focused you have to keep going and uh, you have to do what you want to do if it's on your mind you want to do something you will come up with something if not there's something else but you can't be idle you have to keep going in life right you make yeah. use of every opportunity you have don't crib and cry i mean crib and cry will be there if you're not able to make it everybody goes through those stress those difficult times but if you want to make it happen you have to make it happen like like i said again if i was not a photographer yeah, i think this really needs if, a round of applause if i was a photographer i would have been something else but i would have been something yes yeah 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 rightly said ambika it's a very personal decision and it's a very personal choice okay you choose what you really want to do if you want to do something else other than be other than like you know um, uh, just being But a mother to baby also want that. To, i would also want to tell this niloka it's not like you want to, uh, just a minute this something around so it's not like you have to be career oriented you can be a right. mother to right. Yes, but do that yes, properly yes yes, yes that's properly. what i was actually coming to 
if yeah. you're not doing this properly uh, if you're not interested in a career that doesn't mean you are no good no you you have to do even your motherhood you go through it properly your family yeah. you take care you keep it uh, just just do what you're doing properly you can do it that's right. what i love amazing yeah that's that's actually something that i want, just wanted to add in uh, and you like you know filled in the gap yeah. It's so yes, um, career oriented. Uh, all the lovely ladies out there who are watching us now and who would be watching us later on, yeah. So this is a very prominent message. It's not really necessary that Ambika's journey is similar to my journey or my journey is similar to Vidya's journey, and Vidya's journey is similar to your journey. So each one of us is unique, and each one of us have their own struggles and their own share of happiness. so it's all different so you never should compare yourself with somebody and it's always good to follow your heart and do what you really want to do but be happy in doing whatever you're doing because it should be your choice and you have chosen to do it so that's not that's like it. everybody can have all the support and it is going to be difficult for some it's going to be a little easier for somebody else all phases of life are not the same maybe i would have gone through something as a few days exactly. now it all looks rosy maybe yeah. everything for everybody else looks rosy the grass yeah. on the other side is always greener yeah so now when you tell your postpartum period now it is looking rosy to me actually <laughs> you know, no i would have gone to my own thing my baby sleep okay so yeah when you said your baby was that's one yeah, thing i'm stuck in that phase okay i'm i'm just stuck there uh, like you know early sleeper late riser i'm not able to come out of that so yes um it's different for everyone and um, yeah definitely i can feel that you were you know you were much more fortunate than what i was in having like you know a really good baby yes <laughs> i was we fortunate. have a question yeah we have a question ambika hi ma'am when did you start as a photographer i have always been around the camera hanging around with the camera like i said i also like to be in front of the camera i like to be <laughs> behind the lens also so i really started this professionally about 2 uh, 2 two, two and a half years ago only not not much long all my clients when they walk in they ask me how long have you been into this <laughs> And when I they, when I tell them it's only been like two two and a half years, they are surprised. But <laughs> yeah, your work is very like short that. career still. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm switching back to our question mode, uh, Ambika. So during your postpartum period, uh, did you have to set any kind of boundaries with any people, uh, like you know maybe your family members or I don't know maybe acquaintances? in terms of what is allowed and what is not allowed and also like you know just adding to that question is another point was there some kind of advice that you received during your postpartum period which you would wish that no i did not i would love to not hear it at all so was there something like this i will you will definitely connect with it no mother wants to hear what's to be done with your baby every yeah. mother thinks i know the best for my baby it's just <laughs> like that you know the best yes. for your baby yes. that was one thing everybody could get annoyed that was one thing i got annoyed with always but then you know there are certain things you got to listen to mm -hmm. there are both yeah. ways to it you have to right. listen right. to it there are certain right ways there are certain things that only the mother can know nobody else can understand <laughs> so that's yeah, yeah. just one thing i think as far as i remember i've been eight, it's been 8 years nilufa <laughs> 9 years <now. laughs> i'll need to have yeah, one yeah. more <laughs> yes agree yeah we have a question for you you have so many fans of become okay so there's a question from um, uh, shuru cat okay that's the insta handle name so she's asking one more question goes as ma'am do you work out every day because before you and after you there's so much of difference Before, I was just seeing Ambika like this. Okay, she's always been fit. I don't no, remember no, 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 being fit ever since. Uh, when clients come in, uh, like I am, I can so much relate. You know, somebody has somebody tells me I've put on so much weight. I say it's okay, it's okay. I have been in in real bad shape after my daughter during pregnancy. Oh, I didn't want to look at myself. I didn't want to take any pictures. Okay, I I'm seeing you that during that yeah, time. Yeah, I, 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 I,
somebody waits a way too long but i lost mm-hmm. all my weight pretty fast that again you know i compliment my family for it all my family was very supportive so i that was one thing you know uh, i should have known uh, before i delivered like i or de- before i conceived so i should not have uh, i should have kept uh, account of what i was doing i should have been more active during my pregnancy i think that was one thing i had put on a lot of weight and then i started working out my husband is a fitness freak so so do you work out every day ambika ah uh, not now not now nilifer it's definitely not possible i'm standing like 7 8 hours a day sometimes when i'm shooting i at least otherwise two three times four times a week i definitely try to work out wow lovely at yeah. least for something you know That's i good number. Have, yeah. and if i don't i feel really guilty because i love to eat <laughs> 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 i love to eat and i have to burn it out somehow but i'm not yeah. such a rigorous work i don't work out so rigorously but i have started my fitness journey long ago okay. i didn't wait too long that was one day you know uh, i just my eyes opened because my dad said i am going to stay like this for some more time my daughter was 9 months and in the next mo- 3 months when i went back he was like wow <laughs> how did you do oh, this nice. wow so, and uh, i didn't have any fitness coach i did it all myself i think i remember aishwarya rai had delivered that time uh, i mean her daughter is a little elder to mine but there was so much in the uh, there was so much so many articles mm-hmm. there was so yeah. much uh, to read about and everything was served if you can go and read and do it it's mm-hmm. that's it you can do it i think nilofer also is <laughs> i i i still not uh, able to get back to my uh, you know earlier uh, fitness yeah, levels that really yeah. is very difficult it can't happen you know, like you go back to your original shape but i do still have my outfits uh, from before my wedding and i wear them but definitely they oh, would fit you like the way you they would fit you otherwise but it would kind of like you know changes your body structure i really feel like you know uh, some changes never get back so there are some permanent changes that happen to your body it could you know but it's very difficult if you only concentrate on your fitness you can achieve it but yeah. uh, i think we are not in the show business yeah. and you don't need to hurt ourselves so much as far yeah. as you're fit Completely you're able agree. to be strong it's good enough it's not like we want yes. to show people being how strong skinny. being strong is the key actually right said amrika like you know stay strong right. is important yes there's one more comment for you she has done a very beautiful shoot in netherlands yeah i think you spoke about that with the <laughs> yeah Yes. I actually know when when I wanted to ask you this this is not in our question list when you handle babies you need to be so calm and patient okay how how you're getting that so such tiny human mm-hmm. you know so they look so beautiful but all, to make all them all newborn photographers have to be very yeah. calm very patient uh, with the baby yeah. especially and uh, with all our shoots i think we need to be calm and patient sometimes we we lose it but you know when it is newborns you cannot you cannot lose yeah. out even if, even if you're not well you have to stay strong and you have yeah. to finish the shoot with a lot of calmness sometimes my shoots have gone up to uh, the evenings i've started oh. the shoot yeah because you have when it is a baby you can't push the baby you can exactly say, uh, anybody yeah. else it's fine but babies can't be pushed to do something you have yeah. to stay calm you know that, that actually my um, i i just wanted to ask that question to you amrika so when you say you've gone all along till evening it means like you know it was it must have been somewhere around 8 to 10 hours of a shoot time so what are we it's talking about like what are it's been like that so because wow. I, started, I we don't stop we take breaks but yes the shoot goes on sometimes so the next day is like oh I don't know what happens to the mothers also 
the new model i think i think i think this is all um like you know this is all the effort that actually reflects yeah. in your photography because i have um like personally i have i also did opt in for a maternity uh, shoot i could not uh, like you know um, uh, go to you because i was in a different location and you were in a different location yeah i wish but you were not here <laughs> I you know I I think I think I think I spoke about it sometime after yeah. it okay I was like hey, I just wish I was like you know in Bangalore and uh, yeah I think it's because of all this hard hard work that you put in so much of effort like you know in terms of time also this is all that reflects in your uh, photography that's why like you know you are the go to kind of a person for maternity photo uh, photo shoot you know seriously uh, i'm not getting pregnant again but if at all i would i would have <laughs> definitely opted in for back to your baby sometime <laughs> yes yes ha that is that that's a good option you know that that is a good option yeah yes yes i have thought about it motherhood it's the motherhood sessions i am really enjoying especially the babies that are close to one year they come for their first okay. birthdays and it's so much fun with them okay. they also look so nice <laughs> i i love yeah, the babies you know giving my baby away to you for a day i can imagine myself like you know being at peace and having a blissful day when ambika is struggling with my baby yeah i would love to do that ambika yes yes it's <laughs> a, it's a dance <laughs> together <laughs> we we'll yeah. shoot for the team <laughs> definitely definitely yeah, yeah i think there was one uh, uh, client a uh, friend whose uh, baby shoot i did in netherlands and she had messaged gimme hi if you are listening to me <laughs> still listening to me your baby yeah, was so cute <laughs> yeah. he's still so cute he's now a big boy when i'm there oh. next time i hope i'll see you yeah someone is asking you why do you keep visiting abroad yeah i was traveling uh, <laughs> to netherlands uh, for my daughter's tennis my husband is a tennis enthusiast he's a sports freak his name is okay. chelsea uh, it's a football club and uh, he wanted her to get the best training so he put okay. me there so uh, we stayed uh, we used to stay there every summer but since lockdown we could not travel and there is when i started my photography career okay i used to cruise yeah. with him i don't want to go abroad because i can't <laughs> do anything there i did shoots <laughs> there but i the when i stayed here and there was no travel allowed mm -hmm. so that's how i started shooting back to back wow so that's oh, how uh, really uh, i became a photographer if you come back to that again <laughs> the question how did i become a photographer this is the thing okay yeah nice so we planned to travel but now i won't be traveling for 3 months 4 months no i won't be staying there for so long at least for now for the next 2 years yes yes gini i'll be coming for some time yeah. <laughs> hopefully soon <laughs> yeah nice I think yeah we're almost at the end of our session uh, so before i ask the last question with if you have something to add uh, if you want uh, to ask something no i can add so many things i i really like the you know transformation of the people you do after your makeup ambika that is really i keep staring at the pictures um, not because it's so good I keep looking at that, you know, makeup by Ambika. I I'll see. Oh, so nice. So no, so many people yeah. don't know when they come. They are yeah. surprised that I do the makeup. They like. They be wondering where is the makeup artist. I say, wait, wait. I'm here. This is my this is my honest feedback. Okay, when we had a call last time also, I told you. But again, I want to tell on the live session because it's really nice. And your mother stitches those dresses. That is. Yeah, she little, gets them made sometimes. Yeah. She does. make them her the dresses but she designs okay. them she designs yeah. them wow she does not have that yeah. uh, energy to do all of it herself but uh, she is there for uh, taking care of all the outfits it's amazing i didn't knew that they make them so they are a little different from what the rest of them do i have grown up uh, looking at her designing my outfits choosing my i've always been going around with her shopping shopping even now when we go we just hit the market let's see what's new in the market let's see what new material is there all the time we call up we are discussing colors we are discussing 
all the materials yeah so she's Lovely. need a constant st- support again uh, for everything i remember yeah. her. i remember her I, from I think the of it, uh, all the artistic things i get it from her yeah yeah so, i remember her very clearly i remember her very clearly i remember that song which you danced for it was from the movie tal ramta <laughs> jogi i guess i was like I you know, know i was such a big fan of you and i i remember like you know having seen you mother somewhere around that time and she was so much keen and interested in uh, i guess that dress which you had worn was designed by your mother um if yeah. I, if i'm remembering most, it right most of my dresses were designed by my yeah. mom uh she does very intricate embroidery only for us you know she does not do it for anybody else like she does it for mm-hmm. us so lucky all my clients are lucky <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, lovely yeah. Well. okay so our uh, next yeah. question uh nilifa uh, yeah we have a Nilipa. question right vidya you see yes we had some question i think uh i missed it uh were you able to see it vidya Mm, I'm waiting. Come again, Yashi. Address these comments. Fan of your photography, I couldn't ah, get yeah. done for my maternity, but I'm planning for my motherhood soon. Yes, the yeah. motherhood is the most catching up thing now. I'm okay. loving. It. I'm really enjoying because you know you keep on doing one thing. You're obviously mm-hmm. uh, you want to see more, right? You can't keep yes. doing the same thing every day. So motherhood is yeah. really fun. I've been doing a lot of motherhood sessions. Please do come. Yeah. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Lovely. What? Lovely. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm just heading over to the our last question. But there, if you don't have anything more, because we are already yeah. out of time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So the last question to you, Ambika. As I understood, okay. Uh. Like you know, life was not um a complete bed of roses for you too. Although you had a lot of people supporting you, you know, you loved uh being an architect, and then you had to make the switch um uh to being a photographer, uh accommodating all the things uh very beautifully and like you know handling things very elegantly. But definitely, you must have faced some hurdles, some hardships in your life. so we would love to know how what was your mantra in overcoming those hurdles and if there are some tips which you can share with our fellow uh, uh, mommies who are watching this video so hurdles are a part of life some can be seen some cannot be seen correct you have to uh, you have to stay strong always you have to do it yourself nobody is going to come for you they will help you if you go and ask for help but you have to stay strong and do it yourself you should have it in you if if yeah. not this like i have already told you this if not this it's something else but if you have it on your mind if you have it on your thoughts nothing can stop you even now you know you want to, i i i just keep on thinking every day if you have if you want to do something you will not stop your mind is not cool it's it's always like should i do that next what should i do next what will i do how what is the next thing i can do should be the focus so you can also see that in my pictures i am always coming up i'm always trying to come up with something new i try to change uh, very fast do something new each day even when clients come i tell them let's not do this let's do something new for you so like you would do the same outfit for me as do something new for you and they are happy. so yeah. it's not i'm just giving you an example yeah. if you are not able to do something doesn't mean you lose at life you have to think what suits you what best you can do and then you have to make the move Right. Thank you so much. With Amma. whatever, uh, with whatever uh, resources you have, see, I I was not able to uh, get all these uh, fancy outfits um, that uh, are being sold abroad. Like you have mm-hmm. to get them from US, you have to get them from everywhere else. No, I I have come with my own way of doing things. Uh, yeah. I don't think because somebody else is doing that way, you do it that way. No, you can do. <laughs> There is a beautiful comment here. <laughs> Please. 
कुछ हिंदी में बता दीजिए आप बताइए मैं क्या बोलू हिंदी में मैं वही बता दूंगी मैं हिंदी में भी बोल सकती हूँ आप बताइए आपको क्या सुनना है <laughs> it is someone from your fraternity, Amrika. I guess it's some yes. Patel for the click. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can have an exclusive session for you, like you know, with Amrika in Hindi. I will you know, ask because Auntie Ji, I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, people call us that nowadays, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah it's fine. But we would prefer being called by name. Rather than you like know, you know when they'll call you like that. <laughs> That's some photo. <laughs> <problem. laughs> so you yeah. know when they call you like that. <laughs> no, I have been called many times, so I'm like, okay, chalo, that's fine. Because <laughs> no, I didn't get my point. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't get your point. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get your point. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Right. It was lovely having you, Ambika. It was a lovely discussion, and uh, really, like you know, learned so many things um, about you. And uh, more than that, you know, it's so in- inspiring to have, uh, like you know, known so many things about you. To sum it up, you know, uh, what I can derive is that um, you don't really need all the resources. Uh, available to you on a plate to start up with something if you have a strong will to start up with something you will do it with the minimum resources that are there at your hand okay for example you i mean you are the biggest inspiration uh, to this uh, summary i can say that with confidence because you know you started off with a very simple dslr okay and uh, you did not really wait for the fancy equipments to come in and the perfect setup to be in place okay you did it all by yourself you started off somewhere and then because of your strong will and determination you are you were able to reach uh, the place where you are today i wish you much more success okay i want to see you Is like you know interrupting you nilofa yeah. uh, is there any photographers watching it I just started with uh, natural light. I even now love to shoot in natural light. I didn't have any uh, strobes. I didn't understand what strobes meant when I started off. Like I had professionally started, but I didn't really understand what strobes were. They are actually the lights that uh, give okay. the. Yeah, I didn't understand technical terms, but I was uh, doing my work. I mean, I had started as a professional. so i didn't have all the fancy you know cosmetics with me but the makeup looks good you know you don't need all of that i didn't have all those fancy again you know expensive outfits that uh, are being uh, used but my outfits are loved by everybody first thing they when clients want to book me i love your outfits where do you get them from and then it's a different story when they come okay they understand how i am getting them all in place and how everything is going so i shoot from the comfort of my home of course uh, we have moved into a bigger space i'm trying to make a, a studio space and all that but yes i didn't start with all of this i have mm-hmm. started with uh, nothing and i think that's how really uh, careers boom when you start with nothing when you have that will power did you want to do it my mom this time she was telling me you are breathing eating and sleeping photography stop it she <laughs> says <laughs> i said yes yes soon i will stop it i'm not going to go like yeah, this now <laughs> yeah but that's how it's done yeah and there was something i wanted to tell happy women's day to all the women who have joined and happy women's to- day and it to- has been with- such an inspirational uh, session of the guys was lovely listening to you you know it's highly motivating to so many other women um, who who have watched the session who will be watching it in future it's really motivational it was lovely having you with us and thank you so much for taking out the time and joining us today it was it was thank really you, lovely thank, thank you so much both of you thank you thank you for so having much. Thank you mother team new mother thank you. for having Thank me. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 bye.